Welcome to another exciting episode of Tech You Out. My name's Emmanuel. We have Tony, and we have a special guest, Junior. Go ahead and uh, kind of state your name and what you do here at the PTCI. Uh, my name is Junior Barco, um, and I'm a cellular uh, tech support. That's what I do. Or, uh, even is that what I did? I uh, yeah. Say? What am yeah. I yeah. Tech yeah. support. Yeah. You, tech support. Yeah. You kind of <laughs> help with the inventory, tech support, fixing yeah. fixing the phones. Yeah, I do a little bit of everything. You know, Apple Care, um, order accessories, restock phones, all, all of that. So. Awesome. Yeah. Well, it's good to have you on the show today. And um, what we're going to do is talk about the iPhone, the new iPhones, and that's why we brought him on the show is because he's a professional. He's the and, expert. So, and this is the funny thing. <laughs> Some people they, they say we look like we, we are brothers, so that's probably <laughs> why. That, that is why um, we are. Yeah, they're I'm both my brothers. Brother, that, that is true. <laughs> that is true. I'm usually behind the the camera, so I'm, yeah. <laughs> that is true. That's true. Um, Brother from another mother. I think that's right. what they, they right. say. Yeah. yeah. Um, so go ahead and start us off, Tony. You said you had some questions for us, and I'm mm -hmm. going to say for us more for him. Yeah. He's the professional. All right. So, you know, there's there are three new iPhones that came out. You've got the uh, 10s, 10s Max, and the 10R. And can you kind of describe the difference between, you know, the 10s and the 10R? Yes. So, uh, so the 10s is actually going to be a smaller phone. It's gonna be. It's gonna have a 5.8 inch screen, mm -hmm. and then versus the 10R, the 10R is gonna have a 6.1 inch screen, um, and then on the on the 10S, it, it has an OLED screen versus on the 10R, it's an LCD screen. Yeah, and and so basically, I've heard um, that the you know a lot of people like the OLED screens and stuff. They give you the really good black color and all that. But uh, and really vibrant. But I've heard that this is a new LCD screen that Apple's put in, and it's called a, a liquid LCD, and that it gets pretty good battery life, actually better than than the uh, other phones. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, that's correct. And I, I think that's pretty neat. Of course, you have a a smaller pixel density too on the on the 10R. The 10R is the cheaper of the new ones, yes. um, which it's not really cheap. I mean, it's. Seven hundred and fifty dollars. Yes. Still flagship, uh, you know, level. Yes. Um, it, like you mentioned, it starts out at seven forty nine, mm -hmm. versus the the ten S starts out at nine ninety nine. So. Right. Yeah, and, and I'm. I guess that was kind of made more for the average consumer. Uh, you know, I've heard that Apple said that the reason they they made it in the first place was it would fit most people. Yeah, I think so too. And then uh, you know, especially being cheaper. I think it'll fit the younger generation pretty well because mm -hmm. you know it does come available in six different colors. Yeah, and uh, I think the kids would really like that as well. So. Yeah, I, I think so. And and honestly, you know, if if you want all the features, you want the the best that you can get at at the moment, then obviously the 10s is the way to go. But you're not sacrificing much, you know, if you do decide to go with the 10r. Yeah, no, not a whole lot. I mean, they have a lot of similar features. You know, mm -hmm. they have all the Face ID. Um, uh, they both uh, well the only difference is really that the 10s has a dual uh, rear camera lens mm -hmm. versus the 10r has a single camera lens yeah i mean they both have uh, quite a bit of ram they both have the a12 bionic chipset in them uh, so they're all fast and and you can yeah. play games and whatever you want to do on any of them yeah i mean you can pretty much do the same you know it's just going to be a cheaper phone mm -hmm. so i gotcha Honestly, the the 10R sounds pretty good to me, but I also understand, you know, if if you want to do some pretty, it, I mean, if you want to have the best and have all those different camera features and stuff, then the 10S is the way to go. Yes, the 10S would be the way to go. I mean, mm -hmm. it's more of a premium phone. Yeah. Um, but I mean, if you don't really care too much about, you know, the stainless steel body or the dual lens camera, mm -hmm. um, you know, then the 10R is really a great option for you. And Emmanuel, you were talking a little bit about how the uh, 10S has IP68 water resistance, mm -hmm. and you know that's uh, dust resistance and water resistance. How how deep did you say they had tested it to? I believe it said two two meters. Yeah, two meters. so about six feet. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that to me that's pretty impressive. You know, you got an iPhone. I don't know if I would be out there in the water with it because <laughs> I'm just so used to the, yeah. the other phones back in the day. Yeah. Taking them out in the water, but it, it's it's neat that it has that kind of water resistance, so that like if you maybe you're at the ocean and you go in the water and you're filming, you don't have to worry about it getting wet. Yeah. 
because right. you know you, you still don't want to drop it in the water yeah. but if it got hit by a wave you're gonna be okay because it's you know 30 minutes right at that level of water yeah. you should be good so yeah that's, you sh like you mentioned you should be good but I still have a I, I'm still cautious about yeah. you know having it around water because you know, I guess we're not used to that. You know, it's some new features on, on I guess, phones. I guess I'm old, I guess, is what I'm saying to yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, well, see, I'm, I'm, I'm a little more brave than you guys, I think, because, like, I'll actually, like, wash my phone, like, under the sink and stuff. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah you I, are brave. Because I, I trust I, it maybe more than I should. I don't know. Yeah, I'm always scared, too. I'm always scared. Yeah. But. I'm with you. <laughs> it's just um, can't bring myself to put it in the water even though it says it's okay. Well, it's yeah. weird because, I mean, you were, like, it, the last few years, you'd always told, don't get your electronics wet, you know? Yeah, and then you always, like, you hear that one thing, like, if you get wet, you got to put it in rice in a bag or <laughs> yeah. something yeah. like that. Hopefully yeah. the days of rice are over. Yeah. yeah. Um, Hopefully so. <laughs> I heard it works, but I don't know. Yeah. It's hit and miss, hit and miss. Yeah. Yeah. So, no. like, on um, the screen, I know it's a 10, part of the 10 series, so does that mean that it's full screen and not the button? Because that, that button was a big issue. So, with this, it's full screen, right? Yes, it is full screen on this one, and uh, they actually removed the home buttons on these new models. So, for uh, instead of a physical home button pressing down, you will have to swipe up. Mm -hmm. Swipe, okay. Uh, it's um, It takes a little bit to get used to, but, I mean, once you're used to it, um, it's it's effortless anymore. You don't even think about it. It's, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's quite nice actually. Yeah, and I've and I've heard you know a lot of people liked the the three D touch and and all that kind of stuff for the you know touch ID, and the face ID is really fast. Yeah, it actually is really fast. I mean, and it's super easy to set up as mm -hmm. well. Um, and it's and security wise, it's actually better than the uh, fingerprint touch ID. So right, um, it's really a secure way to secure your phone. Yeah, I mean that's why I mean. You know, they talk about the the emojis and the memojis and all that kind of thing, but really that the face ID is what all those sensors and the notch are for. Um, so they're, they're pretty high tech sensors. I know that it's got like some infrared type stuff and uh, pretty detailed stuff in the front of that phone. Yeah, it's, it's got a really good front camera too. The technology is pretty crazy on it, and I uh, it's well advanced, I guess. So, in your opinion, Junior. Um, what's the main advantage, like if somebody's on like a 7 or a 6, uh, you know, iPhone 7, iPhone 6, what's the main advantage to switching up to these newer models? Well, uh, I, the one thing that sticks out to me, it's going to have a faster processor. Oh, yeah. So, you know, everything is going to load so much quicker than what it would in the, you know, 6 or the 7. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, not only that, I think the battery life, the battery life sticks out to me as well. Oh, I mean, yeah. It's, it's going to have a lot longer battery life, so, you know. We don't want our phone on 5% all the time or, you know, on your, your 6 or your 7, um, a lot of people, since it is a little bit older model, you know, you start to have battery issues. It right. start to drain a lot quicker, random shutoffs, just mm -hmm. uh, things like that. So, you know, newer phone, newer battery, and it's going to work, work, be a lot more reliable and work a lot quicker. Yeah. So, so talking about the battery, wireless charging, tell us about yeah. that. So the wireless, so these new phones, um, they have the glass back, mm -hmm. okay, and uh, so that's what uh, actually helps it get the wireless charging on it. So um, all you really have to do is buy a wireless a wireless charging base mm -hmm. and uh, just set the phone on there, and uh, it'll start charging for you. But I mean, I will say that some some cases are not compatible with it. I think it just has to depend. It depends on the D thickness. depends on the case. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it depends on the case, the material, the thickness. So, you know, that's one thing to consider as well whenever you're picking out a case and you're trying to use the wireless charging feature. Yeah, and honestly, I think most cases, you know, will work. Like, I use a commuter otter box, and I I honestly wireless charge this one more than I do it wire charged. Okay. Um, so that's, uh, I, I actually really like that feature because yeah. I can, like, if I'm at my desk, I just set it down on there, right. and it's charging. I don't have to worry about, you know, fumbling with the cord and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's definitely pretty handy, you know, just set it on the pad and mm -hmm. you're good to go. It starts charging right away. So, and and now with these chargers, they charge a lot quicker than what they used to in the past. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it, it doesn't take real long at all. And, it, and it's nice because, you know, the, I think the 10 has like a, a 2,000 some milliamp hour battery on it. And, you know, that's not a huge battery. 
but I but Apple's so efficient with their software that the battery actually lasts a really long time, but that helps it charge faster too. Yeah, correct. So, and that's that's something about with the um, with the new phones with the glass back charging. You're able to uh, test out those cases when you come here into mm -hmm. PTCI. We have some wireless chargers out, out front yeah. that you can put it on and make sure it works before you buy a case for it. Yeah. Yes. So that's something that I like that we do here mm -hmm. at the office. Yeah, it's, it's definitely handy to have, you know, because just in case you're wondering, well, hey, you know, is my case compatible with the wireless charging? Well, you come know, test it out. Yeah, we can come test it out. We have the pad sitting up there in front of the cashiers, mm -hmm. and uh, just quick and easy, just drop it on there. And if it charges, you know, you should be good. Yeah, and, and I, I'd say most of the ones that I've tried out, they they charge. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, and most of the time you're not going to have an issue with it. I think, um, I think it's going to be more or less the material. You know, maybe if it's made out of metal or something, there might be kind of yeah. some kind of interference in there, but. Uh, most of the time, the cases are made out of plastic or rubber, so you should be good. Yeah. You know, I've, I've heard a lot of people uh, really like the new uh, speakers that they put in, especially the 10s. Um, you know, they're dual speakers, and it, it fires out of, you know, the front and the bottom. And so basically, wherever you hold the phone, you're not going to be covering up the speakers, which is yes. really nice. Yeah, it is a really nice feature. Um, I will say that uh, I do have the 10s Max, or mm -hmm. sorry, the 10s. And uh, whenever you place a phone call, the receiver is uh, really loud. Mm -hmm. It's really loud. I have to turn it down to like halfway because <laughs> it's it's blurring in my ear. Yeah, that's <laughs> it's, it's pretty amazing. That's really nice because usually you have people that are complaining that you know they can't hear their phone calls. It's yeah. too quiet. And so with it being louder like that, um, that's that's really beneficial, especially if somebody yeah. you know has uh, a hearing disability or something like that. Yeah, I mean it's. It's definitely a good thing, you could say. Yeah. You can't have it loud enough. You know, I'd rather turn it down than having to turn it all the way up and not hear anything. Right. So. That, that, that is a good um, thing to have on there because if you're working with it halfway down, if you need to move it up, you can. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that, that's nice. Um, what about the storage? Because I know that's a big issue with people um, not having enough storage for their pictures. So yes. tell us about the storage, either one of you all. Okay, so uh, on the 10s, um, it comes with three different different storages. It starts out at 64 gig, mm -hmm. um, and then goes to 256, and then we have the big one, 512 gigabytes. That's wow. ha that's now, that like half a terabyte. I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure of anybody who would need to have that one. But I think I know a few people. Case, yeah. Just in case, there's always a 512. And, 512. Uh, wow. It, Download yeah, lots of cat videos on there. It's a lot of pictures and videos. I, I'll tell you that. Yeah. That, that's impressive. It is. It is. Yeah, that, I mean, that's, that's half a terabyte. Used to, you know, a few years ago, that's what computers would come with on, as their initial hard drive was, you know, 500 gigs. Yeah, and I mean, it's pretty amazing to what uh, we've come to, you know, as far as uh, gigabyte storage. Um, and then on the 10s Max, it's going to be the same thing. It's going to be 64 gig, 256, mm -hmm. and 512. Um, and then on the 10R, that one starts out at 64 as well, mm -hmm. but that one goes to 128 gig and then 256 gig. Oh, I guess the highest that you can get on the 10R. I got so, you. I mean, it's still pretty high. That's high memory there. So. That's still good. You, you think about how far technology's just in a short amount of time. You know, a gig used to be a lot. Now they have a phone that has 512 gigs that you can save. Yeah. So it's, it's impressive what they're doing with technology and pushing that, that envelope. Mm -hmm. I was just reading on this because I'm a video guy. Um, 1080p at 60 frames per second. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. For a phone. For, for a phone. For a phone, it's, yeah, it's pretty good. That, that's, that's pretty good. These are, these are pretty good phones. Um, yeah, and, and they can even record in 4K and stuff. But, you know, that's the new, that's the new HD, you know. Yeah. yeah. It's the new standard now. Mm -hmm. so. It's impressive. Which I, I really like the phones on these. You know, there, there are a few phones on the market that just have really good cameras. Uh, you know, the Google Pixel lineup, that they have really good cameras. But uh, this year, I'd say that the iPhones are right there, you know. Uh, they're pretty comparable. Yeah, they're definitely top three. Mm -hmm. uh, Google Pixel is one of the leaders in there. Mm -hmm. So is the Samsung. And then the Apple. Yeah. Know, all, all three of those, I would say, are top. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just, it, it, it blows my mind away with how... The um, technology is going, the camera, the storage, is everything, the wireless charging, it's, it's impressive. Yeah. Yeah, these, these smartphones are amazing uh, just because, you know, they are replacing 
uh, cameras now. They're replacing cameras. They're replacing um, I can computers in that, some and, cases. And computers, yeah, computers. They're replacing computers and cameras. So you know, you have people are like, well, why are these smartphones so expensive? Well, if you think about it, they're replacing all those devices to where you can just have a phone in your hand and you should be good. I remember, you know, like 10 years ago and stuff, you go on a trip and you'd be taking your phone, your camera, <laughs> your MP3 player, all that stuff. Yeah. And, you know, now this is all yeah. of that. In yeah, one. this is all in one. It's basically three in one. Mm -hmm. it, it replaces the computer as well, you know. Most of it's, I don't, I own a computer, but I don't use it near as much as what I used to, you know, mm -hmm. used to. I don't use it as much as I used to. I use yeah. my phone for everything now. Yeah, I mean, it's come to a point where, you know, you can do almost everything on these. Really, the only time I use a computer is when I either want to play, like, a bigger game or if I needed to actually type something up. Because to me, like, typing on a keyboard is a little bit more comfortable yeah. in the long run. But I, I probably actually type more on my phone. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait what did, can you say that one more time? <laughs> Huh? Can you say that one more time? You said typing on a computer is better than typing on a phone? For me. You know what that means, Tony? I'm old. That means you're getting older. Dang. I'm 25 today. I turned 25. 25. It's my birthday. Wow. I was um, about to bring that today up. I'm old is now. Your today is her yeah. birthday. Happy birthday, oh, Tony. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. why I brought that up. <laughs> I, I, I told him, I was like, I woke up and like my back was all out of whack this morning oh. and my knee was hurting. I was like, man, I'm, I'm old today. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. It happens. 25 will but um, <laughs> happy birthday from all of us here at Take You Out. That's awesome. Um, it's awesome to know that you're getting older like, like all of the rest of us. Yeah, he, he's just happy because he says he's old all the time and he doesn't want to be alone. No, no, I'm saying I'm older because um, my wife tells me that, that I need to start confessing that I'm young. So I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm, I'm older than I used to be. Well, you're I feel pretty good, though. I, you know. yeah. You're only 42. No. <laughs> 42. Yeah. Hey, he looks great for 42. 42. For 42, look, look you look awesome. really good. Still, still yeah, be man. able to be on TV. I don't know a more handsome looking 42. <laughs> thank you, thank you. It's kind of getting weird now. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I'm not 42, but uh, that's okay. No, uh, maybe, maybe we should have Emmanuel take a selfie, and he can, uh, you know, show off how good he looks at 42 with the new <laughs> camera. In my opinion, yeah. <laughs> the 10s and the 10R take the best uh, front-facing camera pictures. Well, they're they able, on those cameras, you're able to blur the background mm -hmm. and do stuff like that that you couldn't do before. Mm -hmm. You took a picture and that was it. Yeah. Now you're able to adjust, and now they have apps that you can do different things. Yeah. So it's, it's pretty impressive what you can do on a cell phone. It really is. Yeah, and the, on, on the front camera, it's a seven megapixel camera. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, you know, it's pretty impressive for a front camera. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. it's not going to be as good as your uh, rear camera, but um, for a front camera, it's pretty good for and, those selfies, you know. And correct me if I'm wrong, but it, it uses a lot of those sensors in conjunction with the camera, doesn't it, to take those pictures? I believe so. Yeah. I believe so. So on the rear camera, it's 12 megapixels, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And then the front's seven? Seven megapixels. Seven. That, that's, that's pretty impressive because... A few years ago, they weren't even seven on the, the rear part of the camera. No, yeah. um, the pictures would come out pretty blurry. You know, you'd constantly have to uh, retake a picture, um, kind of focus a little bit more. But seven megapixels is pretty good. Yeah. So the 10s starts out around a thousand dollars because it is, like you said, the premium phone. That's the best of the best that you can get right now yes. in the iPhone market. And then the 10R, uh, that's more for the average person. You know, it's $750, still flagship phone, flagship price. Um, but it's not, you know, it's not an excessive amount of money for most people. Yes, correct. So, it's more budget friendly. Uh, uh, teenagers, I feel like they would really love this phone. Mm -hmm. And um, I think a lot of the younger generation would probably like this phone. Um, it doesn't have the home button, so... I think with young people, they don't really, it doesn't really matter about the home button. Mm -hmm. um, I know the, the older generation, not saying anything, we, <laughs> yeah. we, we got used to that, that button yeah. at the bottom. But like you said, once you get used to the, the swiping, it, it's not a bad, it's not a big issue. Um, and the good thing is, like, even though these phones are so expensive, here at PTCI, we're running a special through the holidays and right now mm -hmm. that... 
that if you're a new customer, you can get $600 off. Yeah, and, and even if you just want to upgrade, even if you're not a new customer coming in, you can get $500 off. So that, that's pretty good. That's so. a pretty big chunk of the price off. Yeah, yeah, it is. And that's a really good price, too. Um, you know, once you have minus the 500 or the $600 off, you know, you're, you're not looking at a thousand dollars you know with the payment plan i know that thousand yeah. dollars kind of sometimes scares people yeah. like a thousand dollars for a phone yeah. but like you said earlier it does everything yeah it's and basically then, a computer we, and we also offer the one-year commitment now right versus mm -hmm. the two yeah you know, so i mean it, it's actually really nice because what you were paying to get the two-year commitment now it's only a one commitment, but it's the same price. Yeah. So that's that's awesome. really nice. And I think the reason why is because they're coming out with phones, it seems like every year yep. there's a new yeah. phone, a new phone. So you could always stay up with the latest phone mm -hmm. when they come out. Yeah. And we do have the iPhone that's Advanced plan too, which mm -hmm. is for the person that does want the new iPhone every year. And so if that's you know your priority and you just want to get the new phone every year, then you sign up for that plan and it's already taken care of. Yeah. So... But yeah, um, we sure appreciate you coming on the show, Junior. Uh, your treasure trove of information. <laughs> Thank you for having me, and uh, it's it's really good to be on the show. It's good to have you. Um, anything else you want to leave our viewers with? Uh, not really. Kind of <laughs> <laughs> I, no, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't have nothing. <laughs> well, if if you ever have some issues with your phone, um, it's this guy. This guy will take care of you, Come and he me. does a really good job. So. Uh, we appreciate you coming on, Junior. Hey, thank you, guys. Appreciate it, Tony and Emmanuel. Thank you for having me. Well, uh, like they said, just uh, come into the store, pick up an iPhone. Uh, if you're a new customer, save, save $600. If you're an existing customer, $500. Lots of saving here at PTCI during the holiday season. Mm -hmm. um, you can have the rest of that to go buy some more presents for the family.